Well, it is nine o'clock. And when I got up this morning, it was 35 degrees. Unbelievable, unbelievable for this time of year. And uh, some areas it got down to freezing. So people who planted and, uh, you know, are prepared for summer, <laughs> they probably lost vegetables. Alrighty, let me uh, tell you what I'm gonna do. I have a security, well, let me get down. I got a cup of coffee and I gotta open that gate. So I, I need a free hand. Uh, when I get down there, I'll tell you what I'm fixing to do. I, I have this security light that it used to be, and on the old awning, it was right here on that corner pole that stuck up about three foot. So uh, I think I'm gonna put it back up. But I think what I'm gonna do, yeah, I can do that, is uh, I'm gonna attach a metal pole like a top rail for a ch chain link fence. And I'm gonna go up that away. I'll probably just cut a little semicircle out of that. And I'm gonna put it way up there because the higher you get it, the more light it casts. And uh, <clears throat> and then come down with a wire and probably come up here and that away. And then I'm gonna tie it into that wire there. When the awning came down, it pulled the outside light off of it. So uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now I gotta figure out how I'm going to uh, mount this to a pole where the internals are protected from the rain. This is not my doing here, but you know, it, it works. And if I did that, I, I could go back with something similar, but <clears throat> I'm gonna see what I got, see what kind of stuff I have. And uh, I don't wanna use wood if I can avoid it. This is wood here. So uh, let me go down to my other shop and have a look around. All right, I got a little piece of scrap steel. It's not as thick as I would want it, but uh, I'll just be careful welding it. It'll be okay. I found some Romex. I got a piece of pipe here. Uh, now I'm gonna go over to my knife shop and cut me a nice square piece out of this. <clears throat> I'll probably square the end up and use the end that way. I I can have a little scrap left over for something else. So let me go get a piece cut off of this and uh, get my welder set up. All right, I got a little piece cut out. And what I'm gonna do is stick this in the vise now and see if I can bend it over because uh, I kinda wanna cover up the top of this so water doesn't get down it and, you know, wasp nests don't build in there. I have ground the galvanized off of this. So let me see if I can bend this without too much trouble. And uh, if it doesn't bend, then I'm just gonna weld it on just like that. And then I will drill holes through it for those mounting bolts. All right, let me get it in the vise. All right, that's what I'm going for right there. Let me uh, <clears throat> hit it with a few tacks of weld and uh, see if that's going to hold okay. I got my heat turned down. I got my speed turned down. Uh, I'm going to get my gloves on and get to welding. All right. <clears throat> Let me show you what I got here. This is, uh, these are the holes to mount it. I got two holes drilled. This is the hole where I'm going to come out with a wire. And uh, I have a rubber hose. Actually, I'm coming, I'm going in here with a wire. I'm coming up here. And I'm going to come out right here. Let me, let me undo this. And uh, also I have a, here, I'll show you the rubber hose. I got a rubber hose that's going to, uh, protect the wire from chafing. And it's not gonna be easy to get it up through here, but uh, nothing's easy that's 
worth doing. So uh, let me let me get that wire fed up in through there and I'll show you my rubber hoses. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this to here since I'm right here by my nuts and bolts. And uh, we got a real good start on this. <clears throat> okay, I got that wire fed up in there. Now, I'm going to reach in there with a pair of needle nose and uh, see if I can get this to come out. All right. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt my uh, light down here, connect these wires up, uh, pull a little bit more of this wire out if I don't need it, and then put my rubber hoses around it. There we go. Now, <clears throat> I have this uh, cover. It's got to go back over that. Or not. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some trimming on that. But, I'm going to get this cover on, and then I'm going to go down to the other end and put this rubber hose around that wire. And then, I can mount this and start running my wire over to that outlet where the uh, old light fell off. Let me find a couple of lag bolts and uh, go on back to that carport and get up on the ladder and start uh, start mounting this. Let me get the sun behind me. All right, there we go. That's going to be uh, nice and bright. And that's where I got the wire going in right there under here. And I'm going to tie into that outlet right there. Let me go get my electrical box from the other shop. Alrighty, uh, I will get a cover for that. I just don't have one right now. Uh, I may even run another light <clears throat> from there. Somewhere about midway is just a small uh, motion light down here. I haven't decided yet. But I'm fixing to go drink another cup of coffee. Man, it is still, it's probably not even 50. It's, uh, I'm going to uh, pressure wash this concrete now that I've got a chance and nothing's out here. I want to pressure wash this off and then uh, start setting up my forge. I think I can get a, a pretty good jump on that today. But uh, I'm going to go drink a cup of coffee and then come back and see if I can get my old almost 30 year old pressure washer cranked up.